kiss for you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development, and this will be the part four of my video series on Firebase 2018 using Android Studio. All right, guys. So in our pre in our previous video, we showed and I taught you how to use the Firebase auth to create the user. Okay, y using the uh, email and password. Okay, so in this video, I will show you how to use the login feature. All right. And how to log in your user? All right, guys. So first of all, let's create a profile of a user. Okay, profile activity, so that whenever uh, user logins or sign up, so they go to the profile activity. So let's create another uh, activity here. Profile activity. All right. So here you can see that we have a relative layout. Okay, we will do that. And after that, this is the profile. Okay, so here we will uh, have a button which will log out the user. Okay, okay. So let's go to widgets. Click here. All right. Let's say log out, and let's have color. All right. So now, okay. Now, whenever the user clicks on register activity, he will be directed to the profile activity. So in our register uh, register activity. Here we can say that go to uh, profile activity dot class and start activity i. Okay, so here we will you get application context. All right. Now what we need to do is okay so let's first of all say here finish finish this activity all right so whenever the user will register it will go to profile activity so in here we first of all need to have uh, a firebase out okay the basic object of authentication and after that we first of all need to authenticate it i mean initialize it Okay, Firebase out dot get instance. So now we need. So now we have the Firebase user. Okay, class. It will have. It will contain all the information about the user. So we can say user. All right. So in order to initialize the user, we can say user equals to auth dot get current user. Okay. So now in this way, you this user will be pointing towards the current logged in user. All right. So from there we can uh, say user dot get display name. Okay, we can display its name and we can also get email, get user ID, get phone URL, get phone number. Okay, many things. Get email. So now we can log out the user. So we can say out dot sign out. Okay, this is the way of uh, signing out the user but we will uh, sign out the user in our button click event okay so we can say public void sign out all right and here we can say auth dot sign out and now we will say finish and we will start our new activity i mean uh, main activity Alright, and when we go to profile activity, here we can say in our own click uh, sign out. Alright, 
now we need to go to our login activity and let's also okay let's go to first of all register activity let's just copy that all the code and paste it here all right so instead of register we will say login all right so in our login uh, class similarly what we will do we will first of all initialize okay let's go to register activity and let's copy that and also let's copy the variables okay so here we will we have the authentication part in our login all right so now what we will do is similarly we will create login users all right so here what we can say we can say if even dot get text dot string dot equals empty and e2 dot get text dot string dot equals empty so you can say dot dot make text blank space blank fields not allowed all right and in our ill else part what we can do we can say auth dot sign in with email and password all right so just click that and here you can say e1 dot get text dot to string and e2 dot get text dot to string but also we need the listener to check if the user is successfully logged in or not so for that we can say dot add on complete listener new on complete listener and in there we can check if task is successful so we can say that uh, user user logged in successfully all right and also we will say finish and we will type a new intent that application context and we will open the profile activity dot class all right now that the user is successfully logged in okay in our profile part let's print the user email and password okay okay so here go to user profile and here we will have i will drag a text view okay it will contain the user email okay and let's go to profile and here check text view profile text and let's initialize it text view all right so here we will say that profile text dot set text and we will set the text to user dot get email all right let's see if it displays the uh, url i mean the email of the user or not so now okay in a login part on click login user and here we just now need to check else user could not be logged in all right so now let's connect my phone okay let's run our application and let's see if it works or not
okay so now we will okay so now we have the uh, user with name of harun at gmail.com let's sign in the user let's see if the sign in is successful or not okay so here i enter at gmail.com and i set the password as one two three four five six let's click on login okay you can see user logged in successfully and here you can see the email of the user okay so now we will click on log out and the user is now successfully logged out okay so let's again create a user another user so we can say h at gmail.com and password one two three four five six seven eight okay and now click on register user so you can see user register registered successfully and here you can see the email of the logged in user all right so i will now okay click on logout and here you can refresh it and you can see there is another user which is added all right guys that's it for uh, authentication part of email and password okay in our in my next video i will teach you how to log in the user using the let's say the sign in methods okay so here we will be logging the user using the google uh, account okay and then also we will, i will teach you how to log in the user using facebook okay guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye